Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will go through how to land the Mi-24P Hind. When it comes to landing it is pretty much like taking off. You have uh, essentially two methods. It is uh, the shallow approach method where you uh, simply land the aircraft like a fixed wing more or less. I'm going to show you that uh, in a few seconds. And then we have the quick stop method where you slow the aircraft down, enter a hover and you put it uh, down. This uh, method is uh, used mostly on farps and or uh, in areas where you have a lot of obstacles around you like trees or buildings. Especially useful when doing troop insertions. So without further ado let's start with the most difficult uh, one that is uh, the quick stop method. Let's hope I do not crash so let's unpause and let's try to put it down on the parking area over there. Okay let's unpause there. Here we go. Ooh. We need to slow down very really fast. When doing this method I like to uh, come in at uh, quite low altitude while I slow the aircraft down. Let's stream it a bit. Ooh. And let's lower our landing gear and put on some landing lights, like so. Let's try to keep it in a hover. Ooh. Just going to pause here for a little minute. When doing this, uh, when doing this kind of landing, you need, really need to watch a couple of instruments. The first one is the directional speed indicator. That is this one. This one indicates how much, uh, how fast you are going forward or to the side or backwards. <coughs> and the other one you need to pay attention to is this one. You should not descend uh, too fast, and that is because if you do descend too fast, it's really hard to recover. Because if uh, you uh, go too fast and uh, you try to uh, overcompensate by uh, racing a collective, your rotor RPM will drop and uh, it will not be able to recover cover quick enough and you will uh, plummet straight into the ground. You will fall like a rock, uh, basically. Especially if you are still quite heavy from uh, carrying weapons uh, or fuel. I have crashed uh, many times in that uh, manner. But let's uh, try to continue. Ooh, a bit unstable here. Let's get over the hangar and let's not try to crash into the light uh, li light poles here. As you can see, you do not have very much visibility. All right, let's try to put it uh, down right here. Now we are in ground effect, that helps a lot. Let's stop right there. There we go. There we down. All right, I, I held my breath there for a couple of seconds. Again, this method takes a little bit of practice to get used to. It is uh, quite hard, uh, to be honest. You need to really watch uh, those two instruments. And if you were watching uh, my control inputs, you could see that I had to uh, pull it uh, down and uh, to the right quite a lot and give a quite a lot of rudder. And I had to uh, keep the collective quite high to have enough power to not uh, plummet into the ground. Alright everyone, let's uh, take off again and let I'm going to show you the other method. Let's not crash on uh, takeoff, that would be really embarrassing for me. Oh, by the way, I'm going to reset my collective uh, first. That's always something you should do.
There we go. And we're out of ground effect. Let's raise the collective even more. Alright, now I have uh, made a go-around, so let's land this thing using the sh uh, shallow approach method. Let's lower our collective a bit here. Gear down, landing lights on. One of the advantages of this method is that you can uh, land with uh, quite some speed. It doesn't matter really. Braking slowly. Raise the nose a bit. Raise the collective a little bit more. We're dropping a bit too fast. There we go. And collective down. Again, be very careful with uh, your rudder inputs. And then stick back to brake. If you're going too fast, you might uh, raise the nose, so be careful. And let's use the parking br the wheel brakes a bit there. There we go. Now let's turn it around. And let's taxi off the runway. Alright everyone, that is how you land the MI-24 uh, Hind. But before uh, I end this video I'm going to show you uh, what can happen if you do something wrong during the quick uh, stop method. Okay. Uh, okay guys, let's just imagine that uh, I'm uh, coming in for to landing on a farp and I'm a bit too fast and a bit too high so I lower the collective and raise the nose to slow down. And suddenly I drop a bit too fast so I raise the collective but I can't recover and this happens. And as you saw I had uh, my collective raised, uh, raised to a maximum before uh, we crashed and that's a very typical mistake. You you descend too fast and uh, you can't recover because uh, your rotor RPM uh, drops. So guys that is this for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.